Another uh, prediction, and this could be a trend and it could be a specific incident, Allah knows best. But we are all aware of one of the most amazing predictions that we now see in front of us in our own lifetime. And that is the prediction that in the Arabian Peninsula, there shall be higher and higher buildings. In the Arabian Peninsula, there shall be skyscrapers. Arabian people were of the most backward in the world. They did not even have government. They were tribal. You know, the basic sign of civilization is government. They didn't have a government. They didn't have a codified language. They did not have a script. The script was developed after Islam. They, there was not a single library in all of Arabia. There was no three-story structure, didn't exist. The max you could do two stories, very small. They couldn't build tall buildings. Arabs did not have that level of civilization that other lands had. So for the Prophet predict to predict that Arabia and the Arab lands would have the tallest buildings is once again surreal. How could that happen? And not just that, but people who were only yesterday dirt poor would be competing with one another to who is going to build the taller building. And I don't need to go into explicit detail. Wallahi, this is self-evident as we speak. These oil-rich families that control that part of the world, their own rulers were born in poverty. Back in the 20s and 30s, they weren't rich. There wasn't oil back then. These same princes mentioned they didn't have running water. They didn't have shoes and slippers. They would run around in the sand. And what did our Prophet ﷺ say? You will find barefoot shepherds. Their ancestors were shepherds. They were barefoot. And now that they are the multi-billionaires, what do they do? What is their pastime? What is their hobby? In the year 2000, Faisaliya Center opens up. In 2010, Burj Khalifa opens up. In 2015, this happens. Each one of these princes wants to show that I have the bigger building. And Burj Khalifa, by the way, is two and a half times taller than the Empire State Building. Go imagine that. And when the other prince of Arabia heard that, he goes, Khalas, I'm going to build in Riyadh something that is even taller than your Burj Khalifa. It's as if, mashallah, their iman is so strong, they want to prove the process and correct. And they're going to say, look, I'm going to do exactly what the process and said. But of course, they, anyway. So the point being that it is self-evident in our times, we are seeing this phrase enacted in front of our eyes.